And I'm here with Pat Kern. You're fighting Daniel Weichel February 13th. How does everything feel leading up to the fight, man? I feel great, man. No complaints. Uh, training camp's going well. Um, back with my home team, Team Kern here in Illinois, and you know, back with my uh, head coaches, Jeff Kern, Doug Mango, and everything's going nice, nice and smooth. And you know, like I said, no complaints at all. We're really happy with uh, the way uh, things are going in camp right now, and just overall, the you know, just timing, my uh, my performance, everything's just kind of falling into place right now. Now, when you talk about Daniel Weichel, well-rounded experienced he's aggressive he's a finisher everywhere on the feet on the ground he's a lot like you what's the difference in your mind and in training camp between the two of you uh when it comes down to it, it's just who, who wants it more you know i mean you got to look at the you know the long-term goal and you know if you want to be a champion you just have to you know kind of push past those uh those tough spots in a fight where you know you might be down a couple rounds or you might be stuck in a submission you just got to kind of you know just look past it, work, work for it, and, and just keep the, you know, the big picture in mind of you know, being a champion. So I want it again. I had it. I know what it's like. I, I lost it. So I want it back really bad. And, you know, it was very, uh, it was a humbling experience and, you know, I'm ready to get the belt back and, you know, just, you know, go, go, I'm going for the goal, you know? Now, as far as moving ahead, uh, how big of a step is this fight against Daniel Weichel to you? as far as getting back in that title contention picture, getting a shot at what you call your belt again, how big is this fight to you mentally? You know, every fight from here on out in my career is a championship fight, um, at least in my mind. And it has to be because it's it's do or die. You know, it only takes a couple fights for a fighter to, you know, completely, you know, lose it and, and maybe, you know, call it quits. So, um, you know, every fight from here on out has to be a championship, you know, type of fight. and. It's that one step closer getting back to uh, to a rematch with Pitbull or, or whoever is the future champion at that time. But I'm, I'm ready to do whatever it takes. I'm ready to put the work in. I know what it takes. Uh, I've been there before, and, you know, I'm, I'm ready to get it back. What's different about you? We've seen you so many times in Bellator. What's, what are you going to show the fans that they haven't seen before in this fight versus Daniel Weichel? I like to say, I like to think of myself as still being a pretty young fighter. I have a lot of uh, experience, but, um, you know, you really haven't seen too much of my ground game yet. Um, a few submissions here and there, but, um, you know, I like to, uh, I want to mix it up a little bit and start, you know, shooting for the takedown a little bit more and just come, come like more of a complete MMA fighter. And uh, I think that's what I'm really missing in my game. Um, you see a lot of fights where I'm just striking compared to, you know, going for the takedown and, and keeping a grappling match where my background is uh, BJJ. Uh, you know, a brown belt under my cousin, uh, Jeff Kern. And, um, you know, that was, that's pretty much my foundation, you know, and I, I feel like I just need to blend that all in together and, and com become the complete package. Now, I know a lot of guys that you fought, you put the hurt on them, you can almost see them breaking in the cage. A guy with as many fights as he's had, his 51st professional fight is against you. You can put it on him and he's still going to be there at the end of the round. He's still going to be there at the end of the fight. Is there any idea of, of having to keep that pressure on against a guy like this? Well, you always got to keep the pressure on, especially with a guy with that much experience and knowledge in this sport. You know, I can have him rocked and, and he can instantly come back and go for the win. So I can never go, I can never get relaxed. I can never get too comfortable in the cage. I always have to be light on my feet and, and ready, you know, to uh, to just react. And, um, you know, especially with a fighter like Daniel, you know, he's very dangerous. And, you know, if he gets a hold of my neck or gets a hold of a submission, you know, he, he's going for it 100% and, you know, it could be game, game over for me. So got to be very careful, very smart and, um, you know, just, Try to go in there and, and just put on a dominant performance. Well, it's always fun to see you fight. February 13th, do you have a message for your fans or for Daniel Weichel? Just make sure to tune in. I'm on I'm on the rise back. I'm, I'm making my return and I'm coming in strong. So, Daniel, you're just a stepping stone. I'm, I'm going to get the belt back and it's only a matter of time. Thanks so much, Pat. Thanks for your time, buddy. Thank you.